Lee again. In today's news, the 29th of November 2017, today's news, we have um, Christina Keneally winning her by-election, uh, being serenaded in her win by none other than Bob Walk, our former Prime Minister. Also in today's news, we have Prince Harry and actress Meghan Markle on their engagement. Mm -hmm. That's a big news story today. But also, the, in my favourite news story of the day, mm -hmm. breaking news. Um, Same-sex marriage legislation has just passed the Australian Senate. 43 to 12 in favour of the legislation. Yay! Yay, 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 I'm so happy! <laughs> yes. Same sex marriage passes the Australian Senate 43 or 12. Oh, I'm so happy. Ooh. Oh, I'm so happy. Ooh. Now we just need to get into the House of Representatives and have them vote yes. And then he's talking. He's talking. Okay. And then, and then I can. Ask a certain person a certain question. Me, mm, mm, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> because I love him. Yeah. I can't. I can't. This is. Oh, this is important for me because because I've always I've always believed that we need to have um, marriage equality here in Australia. We need it. We do. We are lagging behind the other countries and we need to do it. Um, more than 60% of this country, which is almost two thirds of this country, have said overwhelmingly, yes, bloody hell, get on with it. We need to have this now. Uh, so, so, the, the parliament need to pull their fingers out and, 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 and get on with the job and, and, and do it because we're sick to death of the, the parliament politicians fat assing around and, and, and not getting on with the job because the, 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 the people of Australia have overwhelmingly declared that yes, we need to have this done. And it, they have now officially said it. So get up off your duff and do it, love, honestly. That's, that's my message to the, 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 the Parliament politicians in the lower house. Get up off your duff and do your job like you were voted for, love. Because guess what? The longer you fat ass around and not do your job, the sooner you get voted out. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's just the way it is. If you're a politician anywhere in the world and you make a promise that you don't keep, you will get voted out. Yeah, that's just the way it is. And if, you, if your constituents tell you they want something and you don't deliver, you again, you will get voted out. You want to stay in your cushy job? then you'll have to listen to your people and do it essentially you have to do what you're told really your pe the people who vote you in are your boss and you have to do as they tell you otherwise you get the boot it's as simple as that like Sir Joby Yucky Peterson former Premier of Queensland said Get back to work or you're fired. It's as simple as that. Get to, get to work or you're fired. So, you know. And yes, sure, I understand that Sir Jeremy Oka Peterson wasn't the most popular uh, premier. So sorry. What was the most popular premier that Queensland has ever had? 
<laughs> Far from it, probably. But I will, I will, I will respect him for his attitude in the sense that, um, you know, you got a job to do, you, you do it. You know, you got a job to do, you do it. And if you don't do your job, you get the boot, don't you? It's as simple as that. And, you know, it's, like, it's, the, it's the same with politicians. If you don't do your job, you should get the boot. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm just, I just hope to God that this, this uh, same-sex marriage passes the uh, lower house too now, because I can't wait. I can't wait to ask my boyfriend a certain question that I hope he says yes to. And then we can have a party. <laughs> I can't wait. Because you know I love him. Everything. My message to um, the parliament of the lower house Oh, yes, you're fine. Bye.